Well, hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Today's video is a craft room walkthrough slash tour, but it also features a tutorial on how to apply wall decals. This is especially featuring the brand new wall decal release from Altenew. If you are here just for the craft room tour, I've got the time that that starts on the screen right now, but if you'd like to watch the quick two minute tutorial on how to apply these wall decals, you can just keep watching through. Thanks so much. So going right into it, before the video, I already cut out the image that I'd like to use, and then I peeled off the back and it comes off very much like a sticker would. I then go ahead and stick it onto the wall and smooth it out with this spatula tool. It's got a very fine and blunt edge so that when you're smoothing it over, it will take out any wrinkles or lines in the image. And you want to pay close attention to the very edge of the image because when you pull up that top layer, anything that is not adhered perfectly to the wall can pull up easily with that layer that we're pulling up now. So if you've done a good job, then you won't see any pulling of the image itself. But if you do, don't worry, because you can just stick it back on and smooth it out a little bit more. As you can see, we get this really beautiful image. But if you've decided that you don't want it there, or if you're moving and you need to remove it, it's fine. It comes off perfectly clean, and you'll see no remnants of anything on the wall. If you are just repositioning, it goes back on just fine. You can put it back on like a sticker and then smooth it out with your hand. And then I like to take that spatula tool again and very carefully go over it just to make sure that it's nice and flat and flush to the wall. So this is the craft room portion of my craft room slash bedroom. As you can see, I have a really nice big space and I'm really lucky to be able to fit all of my supplies and everything that I need for crafting in my bedroom. Uh, obviously that's my bed over there. And I would like to take a minute really quickly and I'll bring you in closer on a picture that I took, but I'd like to take you quickly over to these Altenew decals. They are absolutely beautiful. They're so easy to put up and to take off if you need to move them or if you're moving and you need to bring them with you and not leave them on the wall. But also if you just need to rearrange them, I was able to create this bouquet on my own and I really love the way that it came out. It was really easy to do. It was intimidating when I first got it because they are really big, but uh, I love the way that it looks on the wall and it brings so much character into the space, not just for my craft room, but also for my bedroom as well. And it was really nice to tie in the two spaces. So I, I love that for, for that purpose. I also have this decal up here above my pegboard. It says crafting is in session and that's another all new decal. And I, obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody needs this, right? Um, and I love that this also came on one sheet, so I didn't have to do any cutting here. I was able to just take the sheet that it came on and place it right on the wall. It had those flowers and it was perfectly spaced apart. And I really loved that about that decal, decal especially. So the first thing I want to mention before we get too much into it is this eyesore of this wall here. We've obviously used this wall for a few different things, and so we need to do some repainting over it. But for the moment, I really needed the space for the craft area, so I just went ahead and spackled over some of those holes, but wasn't able to paint over it. So obviously that's where that comes from. But this wire here actually goes to this overhead light. Now there was no overhead light here before. So I got this one from Ikea. It's just basically a wire that hangs and I bought that uh, really inexpensive lampshade, but it's got a really long wire that can come all the way down so that you're able to plug it in when you need it there. So that's the um, outlet that I use and then you have an overhead light and so it's really helpful for when I'm crafting and if we're just gonna move right along I'll do everything that's on my desk this desk is actually two desks and these are both from Ikea they're extremely simple desks there's no uh, frills on them whatsoever but I really love this curved desk it gives me a lot of space and I'm able to have a craft area as well as area for my ink pads or some of my ink pads and some other stuff as well. This ink pad holder is actually three units. So there's one here, one here, and then one here. 
And these are the Spectrum Noir ink pad storage holders. I love the way that they're working out and the reason that I got them was because they weren't permanent, I guess. They were inexpensive enough that if I wanted to upgrade to another system at another time, I'd be able to. I do wish that they had a white available just because I think it would go with the room a little bit better, but they only have black, or at least when I bought it, they only had black. And I got them off of HSN. And so it was a really good deal and it fits all of my Catherine Pooler inks and then some. And it's perfect for what I need it to be. Obviously, I've got these inks labeled a different way when I had them uh, stored in a different manner, but I need to do some, some more labeling. But for the most part, it's working perfectly. And then I've just got some of my favorite Altenew inks down here. If I just move that to the side, I have the uh, Enchanted Gold Pigment ink as well as their antique gold and then I also have their uh, fine line um, obsidian crisp ink and I've got a Simon Says Stamp black ink here and directly above that I've got this little shelf here that is extremely helpful it has my almost everyday things on it so I've got my memento tuxedo black ink I have my versamark ink versafine and then actually some stays on inks here that I don't use often but they're good to have and then I have um, the no line ink here the fade out ink I'm sorry from ink on three these blending brushes are from Trinity stamps I love them because they stand up um, they have flat bottoms so they stand up on their own and it just makes storing them a lot easier and I've got some um, blender brushes from, or stencil blender brushes from scrapbook.com right next to that, as well as my Nuvo brushes. Obviously some water, I'm sorry, some uh, paint brushes there. And then this uh, card here is from my friend Ruby. I just received that from her when I went to her watercolor class in Jersey City. And directly next to that, I've got this little hook that I'm just using for my most used uh, rolls of tape. So I have my foam tape roll on the very top and then scoring tape just below that. And right above this here, I have my uh, calendar that I don't really want to show because I'm not, I think I might have things listed on there that I'm not supposed to be showing yet. So I'm just going to keep that over there. I'm going to move to this little guy here. This is just a a little organizer that I got from Target and it has four wells on the inside and I just sort of organize things that I reach for all the time in there. So in this first one I have this tiny little acrylic case and this is actually the case that the Altenew uh, alcohol markers came in and I keep my uh, scissors in there. I have some tweezers. This is repositionable tape and then I've got of course uh, just some regular tape there. I keep, these are all of my acrylic blocks. So I have two circular acrylic blocks. This tiny one from Catherine Pooler that I love. I have this square acrylic block and then this long um, thin one. And then one all the way back here is gigantic. And I like to use that for when I'm uh, trying to hold things down with glue when I have them uh, for a full card if I've glued anything. And I'll put that on top to weigh the card down. Now, if you can hear, uh, sometimes it shakes. So that's why I have these little things under here. These are just cotton rounds. It's not the prettiest, but it works. And also what's not the prettiest is I have this little toilet paper roll back here. And I'm using that just to keep um, a bone folder, some X-Acto knives, pencils and pens and whatnot. And just behind that, I have my power strip and I've uh, bolted it to the wall so that I'm able just to get to it quickly. You can see I have my fair share of things uh, in there. And my Wagner heat gun I keep right next to me because I use that almost every time I craft. My uh, Tim Holtz tonic glass mat with some of my hair on it per usual. This is my Ott light. Um, I don't use it too often only because I find that it's very bright and especially with my glass mat I have a tough time with glare as you can see from right here so I don't use it too often but it's really great to hold my monitor, my baby monitor for when my kids are sleeping.
I'm losing sunlight and I want to get through this fairly quickly for you, but I just wanted to show that this is what I use to film. Uh, it holds my phone right there and it's retractable and you can move it all around. So it's really helpful. So I just hang it up there and then I'll move my glass mat around a little bit uh, just until it's at the position I need it to be in. And then of course I've got my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine if it's perfectly here on this desk. And also you may be wondering why I have two different colors or two different patterns on my desks. Um, I've had this desk for a very long time and I put this marble paper on it, uh, contact paper, because I wasn't using it very often. Obviously it's uh, peeling up here, it's not doing very well. Um, but also I like the clean white surface, so I decided to keep this desk clean white, but I needed the extra space for uh, when I'm crafting and I kind of like throw things over here and then I'll also uh, use it for my die cutting machine, obviously. If you come down just a bit between the drawers and the desk, you'll see that's where I keep my most used embossing powder. So I have my white on the left and then clear on the right. And it's easy just to grab that when I need it. And going into the drawers here, I got this drawer set from Michaels. It looks a lot like the Alex drawers from Ikea. It's just the smaller version of them. And it works pretty well for me. This top one is just sort of a free-for-all. I've got scissors and masking fluid, glue, uh, post-its, a tea ruler. I've got some pins back here. These are solely used to um, unclog glue tips, if you, if you feel me. I have the mono sand eraser here, and then that's just some gouache and fun things like that. Some tape another uh, ink here, and then of course um, some more daubers or some extra daubers. Drawer number two, I have some Altenew uh, mini ink cube packs, and then all of my alcohol ink goodies are back there, as well as the uh, air blower and some scrapbook.com inks. Down one more, I've got my Catherine Pooler uh, ink refills, some Nouveau Glimmer pastes, my uh, Altenew embossing paste, as well as Ranger. And this is the Deco Foil Transfer Gel. This here holds the letters for my letter board. And then I've got these powders, the mica powders, just right there. Second to last drawer, some mini ink. So I have Simon Says Stamp, Distress, Inks, um, Hero Arts. There's also Memento and then some uh, that I haven't opened yet. And way in the back there, we have some twine. And then for the last drawer, all of my other inks. So this is Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts. And I think it's so pretty. I love it. I love this drawer. <laughs> oh, and Simon Hurley. I am using this cart not as wisely as you would probably like to see, um, but I am using each tier. So this first one here holds all of my Copics and these little uh, pots that they're in are actually just PVC pipe that my husband cut for me and they work perfectly. So I have them grouped into color families. And then of course I have my hex chart right behind that, which I don't think I could color without. Uh, down here on the second tier, I keep some stamps that I need to work with. So that's this uh, white bin here, and I can't show them just yet, so they're turned around. I've got some uh, spray glue, and then my Dymo uh, label maker back there. And these are some stamps that need to be put away. And again, some stamps that need to be put away. And a lot of this right now is Pink Fresh, so there you go and then i've got um these two scrapbook paper holders or bins and those are just filled with lots of fun goodies that i need to go through i'm just going to bring you down now on my left tier so i've got some uh, paper here in the top so there's different um papers and the middle one here actually is scrap paper because just can't bring myself ever to throw it away. And then down here, all of my watercolor palettes, or actually most of my watercolor palettes, and um, 
some pencils and things like that will fit. They fit right underneath, which was perfect. And then my stamps, the PSJ Resistance. And so, yeah, I just sort of label them and alphabetize them. Um, these are smaller stamps that I need to put away and uh, organize, but just haven't gotten to. My larger stamps are down here. And I actually don't have these obviously uh, labeled or organized like this. Um, they're also not in alphabetical order, but I kind of know like the method to my own madness here. Uh, this binder keeps my stencils, so I can pull that out now for you. So if we go ahead and open this, you'll see how I store my stencils. Just sort of have them in here. And I always keep the packaging just because I think it keeps them really nice, but they are each in individual page protectors. So that's really nice. And then all the way in the back, I've got a pocket that I keep my uh, turnabout jigs and then some extra stamp um, pockets for when I want to organize and put my stamps away. And this bottom shelf here is kind of cold and lonely. It just has my Ganzai Tambi palette, some wood slices, lots of uh, sweet stamp shop stamps that I like to go digging through, and then a uh, watercolor palette. Directly next to that, I've got this sort of like bar setup type thing. So it's a shelf, but I've got it on its side and it's holding lots of goodies, but I have it on the side so that at the very top I can put my paper trimmers, my misties. I also have my Gemini Junior there and a lamp. And I just really like that because I like to have that surface there behind me. Going to the first cube in this sideways shelf, I have all of my Spellbinders Glimmer uh, the press and the glimmer foil and all of the accessories here in this bin so that I can take the entire thing out if I need to. Because I don't want to leave that plugged in all the time only because it is a sizable machine and it does take up some room that I don't use every single day. I like to have it somewhere where I can just take out everything that I need with it and then I can plug it in and uh, go on crafting without having to uh, take it down or pull it out of somewhere. It's just easy just to take the bin and have everything in one. Directly underneath that we have some more stamps. Those are some more uh, large stamps and this uh, little bin here is really just a basket that I got from Target in the uh, bargain uh, bins or the bargain section. We'll just go right around. This is where I have some extra stuff for my Spellbinders Platinum 6. And then I have a laminator with some foil. Directly next to that is, are my Spellbinders uh, card kits of the month. And I like to keep them in their boxes so that when I want to go back and create with them, I have all of the, uh, all of the products together. This is a D-stash box, which I'm not showing as well because I would like it to be a surprise. And directly on top of that, I have this little organizer. This is actually a, a silverware organizer from Ikea, but I'm using it for my craft stuff, obviously. So in the way back, I've got my most used dies, so my circle um, nesting dies and also some oval nesting dies. I've got some embossing folders back there as well as more tape my stamp cleaning pad. That wire is usually where my microphone goes, but I'm using that currently. Uh, this here, I just have my tool in one in. I'm sure I could find better things or different things to put in there with the tool in one, but for right now, that's it. And then I've got my blue painter's tape in two different sizes that I use. Moving right along into the drawers, this first one here is all of my embossing powders or most of my embossing powders. You saw a few of them that I use. Um, all the time are underneath my desk, uh, but I've got some Brutus Monroe back here that I was gifted. Lots of wow. I try to keep them in like uh, or finishes, I guess. So these are uh, flat opaque. These are glimmer and glitters. And then I have some extras back here and um, I keep my sparkles back here as well, which is uh, just glitter rather than embossing powder, which I didn't know, which is good to know. Uh, these are also some gifts from my friend Laurel. 
I absolutely love them. She gave me a really big pot of uh, Hero Arts white. I have also some super fine white and clear. And then of course my powder tool and I have the bag, but I think I might've thrown it away on accident, which is really sad because that's my favorite one. So I'll have to buy another one of those. Um, moving down here, this is a fun drawer. I've got my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, my Tombow Markers, and also each of these comes out. So when I'm ready to use it, I'm able just to take this entire uh, pot out and keep it over there with me for when I'm coloring. And here I've got all of my Pink Fresh collection of uh, liquid watercolors and then a few extras from Avrielle back there. And moving over, this top drawer here is probably my favorite in my entire craft room. It's all of my embellishments. These are just the little triangle trays and this is all double stacked. So underneath each one of these is another one and these are just little bead holders. And to open each one individually, you have to push this uh, purple tab in and pull it up at the same time. And I just got these from Michaels. I really love them. They're great for uh, organizing sequins and embellishments. And then, of course, also I have, oh, I'm having trouble. There we go. Of course, also I have my Pink Fresh uh, crystals and gems back here. Lots of Trinity stamps, uh, really fun embellishments in these little pots, as well as some Ink Road stamps, uh, Pretty Pink Posh, and more Trinity stamps. That's my favorite drawer for sure. This next drawer is a bit boring. It has some Copic re-anchors in it, lots of tape that scrapbook.com sent me, so thank you so much to them. Um, this is where I would normally keep all of my pre-cut cardstock, but I have not cut any. So for these two, I've got some alcohol ink cardstock in here as, long, as well as some um, cut watercolor paper, and then lots of envelopes behind there and also it's kind of fun I've got some like vintagey stamps back there for when I send cards and to take you right here on my next shelf I keep my Nikon at the very top in these two bins I've got lots of pattern paper and even some cards in that top bin um, some cards that I've made and then I keep my colored cardstock over here as well as my heavy 110 pound white cardstock there all the way on the left. Moving down, I have another one of these small white bins from Ikea that hold my handmade cards. And these are just some of my favorite cards so that I know that when I'm going through them, when a friend has a birthday or something like that, I'll be able to find one in there for sure. I always try to always keep an extra foam tape because I go through it so often. And I keep my Distress Oxides in this acrylic drawer. And you might be surprised to know that I really don't own too many Distress Oxides. That's about it. Um, moving down a little bit further, I have this sort of modge podge of things. Um, so this is another double fridge bins and I keep a lot of my dyes in here that I use often but not all of the time. But all of my birch press designs products are over here on the right and then some spellbinders dies that I need to put away. Uh, down at the very bottom I've just got a bunch of random stuff. I wish I hadn't even shown that one. <laughs> um, that's a uh, a mat, like a craft mat, and then just a bunch of books for hand lettering that I've never gotten to, as you can see by my hand lettering. <laughs> Before I pan back over, I'd really like to show this off one more time. This was done by my friend Amy, who is a wonderful artist, and she's an art teacher in the suburbs of Boston, and I think that she is just so wonderful, and I have a puggle and so it really meant a lot to me, but also this um, raised proceeds for a boxing, a charity boxing match that she trained for and was in. I was so proud of her. I thought that was really cool. So hi, Amy. Thank you for that. And last but not least here, I have my pegboard. I really just use this for pretty, just to be pretty. I have um, 
some pink fresh and all to new washi tapes here just below that i've got my nouveau drops and shimmer paints i've got some all to new watercolor brush markers my envelope maker and or envelope punch board and uh, my scoring board back there this uh, card is another one from ruby and i've got one of her pins on there as well uh, there's a card behind there from Justine Hovey, um, but apparently I covered it. Sorry about that, Justine. Uh, this is from the stamp market. It says, I have too many stamps, said no one ever. And then just some extra stuff here. These are some alcohol ink markers from Altenew, as well as some pretty fun scissors there that look like the Eiffel Tower upside down. <laughs> um, my Creativation badge from when I was able to go with Altenew last year. I've got lots of pins on that and then a bag of goodies from Jennifer McGuire that she gave me when I met her at Creativation. So that is my entire craft area pretty much. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. I'm sorry it was a little all over the place. I was losing sunlight but I really wanted to uh, get this in for you guys so that you could see how the decals from Altenu work as well as kind of see what I'm working with and the storage options that I use. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Please be sure to check out the description for links to all of the products used today and shown today, as well as links to the coordinating blog post, which is a part of the decal hop for Altenew. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.